When we're dealing with first-line treatment options for marginal zone lymphoma, uh, we typically kind of put patients into two categories. We look at for patients that might respond to um, uh, just single agent rituximab or anti-CD20 therapy. Uh, and then we try to identify patients that might benefit from more aggressive chemoimmunotherapy approaches. In general, we extrapolate how we treat patients in the frontline setting uh, from how we manage our follicular lymphoma patients. These are both considered indolent diseases. Uh, they both can be monitored and observed for periods of years, possibly, uh, before any treatment is indicated. And, and really, we look for those treatment indications that are commonly used in follicular lymphoma, such as bulky adenopathy, progressive adenopathy, uh, cytopenias, B symptoms, uh, things that are common among in indolent lymphomas as treatment indications, we, we look for those before we initiate. And, and if you have a low tumor burden, uh, or an older patient that may have comorbidities that may not tolerate chemoimmunotherapy, you may back off to just single agent anti-CD20 therapy, whereas uh, if you have a younger patient that has bulky disease and or symptomatic that you're needing to get a more rapid response and a potentially more durable response, uh, that's where we employ our chemoimmunotherapy options, of which there are several. When we determine uh, how we want to treat and approach a patient of whether we observe them or uh, we treat them at diagnosis, we, we really look into several factors. One is how is the patient feeling? It's a, it's a clinical assessment. Uh, are they having symptoms? Are they bothered by the lymph nodes? Did they arise rapidly or was this something that has slowly grown over time? Uh, again, looking at their blood counts and their lab work will help determine the need and, and whether or not there are clear cut treatment indications of whether or not to initiate. And if a patient has a normal blood count, feels well, has some lymphadenopathy uh, that are relatively small, uh, you can typically observe those patients and try to understand the pace of the disease uh, prior to, uh, before just initiating treatment at diagnosis. Uh, with nodal marginal zone lymphoma, many patients do present with bulkier adenopathy uh, and, and typically may even require treatment at diagnosis, uh, though that's not always the case. And again, you look at these, at these um, uh, the clinical scenario of the specific patient and what, what will meet their uh, needs.